have lots of different jobs, including directing a cancer center, running a lab, seeing patients, and also trying to raise a family. My history with blood-based cancer actually dates back to when I was a medical student, and I learned about the cure of childhood leukemia, some of which was supported by LLS-funded researchers. And what fascinated me about was you could take a uniformly fatal disease, often killing children within six weeks, and move within 20 to 30 years to a curable leukemia. And that was really what ignited my enthusiasm to pursue blood cancers. During your early years as an investigator, you have incredible hopes and dreams and aspirations about what you might accomplish, but very little track record. But that's the time when we need to support investigators because they may do something transformational. I was working on a project that I was absolutely certain would never be funded by a federal agency. And Leukemia and Lymphoma Society started their translational research grants. And I was looking at what I was doing, trying to get a drug out of the lab into the clinic, and I thought, they must know what I'm working on. This is perfect for what I need to do. We started our clinical trials with Gleevec in June of 1998. By January of 1999, every single one of our patients in a phase one, first in human trial, were responding. Two and a half years later, we had FDA approval, the fastest drug approval for any drug in the history of the FDA. Hundreds of thousands of people now are taking Gleevec, and we've taken a disease that had a three to five year life expectancy and now we project that people should live a normal lifespan. Why can't we do that for every leukemia? So our goal is to think about how we extend that paradigm from CML, childhood leukemia, to adults with AML that haven't had an improvement in their outcome for 30 to 40 years. One of the things that's unique about my background was I took a concept out of the lab and moved to the clinic in a collaboration with a drug company. And one of the things that the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is extremely good at is forging those partnerships, recognizing that by bringing different expertise together, you accelerate progress. When people ask me, where should I donate money? My simple answer is, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is gonna be the best investment of your funds. We can make an impact and we have to accelerate progress. Too many people are dying of cancer in our country today. And to me, it's a travesty that we aren't investing more in research at a time when we can bring enormous technologies to bear on this problem. And that's particularly why I like working with the LS, because they share that sense of urgency.